What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus. On your first deposit, bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or... Check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. Show the final one of this season here, close not Queen Basketball 2324 is my man G. And you see him over the corner. G, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, man. It's March, man. This man's crazy out here, man. Just the NBA college basketball is all coming to a head. Yeah, man. It's a great time of the year. Best best month of the year. March, always the best, man. We got conference tournaments which lead into the NCAA tournament, man. It's basketball heaven. I hear that, G, and I know you're happy. Last time we before we talked, we talked about getting that road win, the first one of the season at Stetson, man. And uh, man, they 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 won the title, but you all got a victory against them before they did that. But how how find it comes your team going out to a tough environment in the land and with Coach Jones what he does and getting the victory down at Stetson, man. Yeah, I thought the guys played exceptionally hard, and you know their backcourt is phenomenal at Stetson, and we were able to kind of really do an unbelievable job limiting you know their easy looks and. We were able to attack the paint, get their bigs in foul trouble, which is always a recipe for success on the road. No doubt, man. No doubt, man. You know what? I, I know people don't like the record. They said, listen, look here, man. You, you got to beat it every night, man, on the road or at home, man. And I know some games on the road kind of got away from you, kind of close. To, so it's really not who you think it is, but you really play well on the roads a lot of times. It's against getting the W. But talk about that for us to improve next year of knowing, hey, we can get the job that was at a beat more consistent and more solid in, in late game and clutch time. Yeah. You know, I, I think the trademark of our team has always been our competitive nature and it starts with practice and having competitive practices and competitive drills. Uh, and so I'm, I'm not surprised that it carries over to games where our guys are always competing. And when you have a young team and, and when your oldest player, most experienced player doesn't play, uh, you know, we struggled a little bit executing down the stretch, but I thought we got, got a ton of great experience you know, we got not only got that late road win versus Stetson, we also got that conference tournament win, neutral site versus Florida Gulf Coast. And I think it's going to carry a lot of confidence over to our guys going into next year, knowing they can do that on the road. No doubt, G. And talk about that, man. I know uh, you had a had a tough game at Gulf Coast prior to the tournament and then getting to play them 
on the on neutral side at Stetson as in, in the first round there, getting that job in those Pat Chambers in his, in his little hell of a job, knowing how tough their coach and how what he does been in the game so long. So like you said, that importance of senior guys push through that game down there and you'll go play Stetson again on their home floor doing their run. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's where it kind of gets like the NBA when you play those games close where where the adjustments are really what matters. Uh, different, you know, in most college games, it's not about that. But when you play a team, you know, back to back, basically like that, the adjustments you make. And so just changing our post defense and how we guarded it kept them from throwing the ball inside, which made them way more perimeter based, which really helped us uh, because they weren't able to punish us at the rim. And all it took was just a slight adjustment in how we are guarding their big kid who, who's shooting 70 percent from the floor. And it was a big deal and a testament to our guys and how hard they worked in that. And, G, I know on the NBA side, we kind of change calls. We, we play somebody on back to back or real close. We kind of change the calls. So how much do you go and try to change your calls in game one to really, really what you want to call in game two in case they were charging what you're saying at a certain time as they're watch, watching on the film there? Yeah, you know, I think it's definitely important that you make some adjustments to what you're doing defensively. I think offensively, they're going to get your calls no matter what. So, uh, you know, not as much tweaks as on your offensive side as your, as your defensive side. And we definitely made some adjustments to what we were doing, but also how we were calling it. And and it, it definitely threw them off balance, uh, which made the difference in the game, to be honest with you. It was, it, was a, it was a huge win for us and proud of our guys. And G, and also, also, also part of the guys too against Stetson in, in, in the quarters. I mean, let's be honest, you was in the game for most of the games in the game. The score does not reflect that to a degree, but you was in the game and had a, had a chance to win there with a shout. So, how happy you were with your guys competing against Stetson, knowing that you already beat, beat them there previously, and just knowing they're going to be like crazy, even though they go your way, but you still had a chance in that game in, in the quarters there. Yeah, you know how it is back to back nights where they weren't playing the night before, so they're arrested. Uh, I thought our guys competed like heck, but, you know, in the end, they made more shots than we did. I thought our guys a little tired on their shots and showed a little bit by missing short a few. Um, but but the guys never, never let 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 up or let down. And, you know, they kept trying to push and push and we were right in it there at the end and just didn't make enough shots. And sometimes that happens on the road, back to backs. Uh, I know you guys understand that in the NBA, but uh, proud of our guys and how they competed. But what it teaches our guys is that we got to put ourselves in position that we're not on the road in a back-to-back -back in the conference tournament, that we're at home hosting, and that we're the rested team because that'll make all the difference in the world. No doubt, G. Like you said, traveling in, in, in the NBA is like you used to, to pull up any metric you know. If you travel, you're most likely not going to you know, have you lay the right legs, the right playing the right way. Second half's going to wear down. So like you said, having the ability to be host on your own court, having to be the rest is so important because – you and also – you 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 know you know the gym, you know the rims, you know you know, you know the bat drop, all that stuff in your favor, and you can actually keep your same schedule that you would have, which is yeah. so key to getting ready for a tournament game. And that's what when you have when you have a veteran team, and we we weren't that veteran, we were younger, and compared to our league, it, it, if, as we get veteran and we get to host those games, and we're not traveling as much, uh, it'll be a huge difference. And that's what we need to do. We need to set ourselves up that we're hosting tournament games you know, next year. And and I think we're going to have a team that can do that. And G, another milestone for you guys, 700 wins in Queens history, man, that you all got, man. How cool is that for you to be the head coach to get 700 wins for the great University of Queens, man? Man, big deal, big deal. You know, I'm so very fortunate. I tell people all the time, like the the past uh, of Queens is, is, is amazing. You know, coaches Dale Lair, Bart Lundy, you know, Barkley Radabaugh, uh, the assistant coaches, Josh Schertz, who's now at Indiana State. So many guys that have been and, and unbelievable. They're unbelievable coaches and uh, feel like because I've been here so long now that I am a part of the past. Uh, but I'm also part of the present and, and hopefully the future for a long time. And uh, amazing, amazing Queens basketball history. Uh, and so very, very fortunate. And G, uh, one of our past guests, Bryce K, has been sec second team all A son, man, all freshman team. And we talked to him earlier this year how happy he was to be able to be there with you, man. And how good to see Bryce's accolades and his rewards getting that accoladed, man. Because uh, the kid plays hard as heck. I know he loves the game. He loves being there with you guys. So I cool would see him get rewarded for what he's been doing all year, man. Man, I mean, very well deserved honor for Bryce, you know, not just first team you know, all freshman team, but unanimous, which means every coach in the league voted for him, which is a sign of respect to what he did, not just offensively, but also defensively. And uh, he's got such a bright future, and we're very excited to see what he does. 
No doubt, G, man. And it, it kind of for you now as you kind of read back with the season, man, and but do some self scouting, like, like kind of what's your goals now going forward from like now through the summer, man? It kind of, as you kind of look through to retool this roster and bring in new, new newcomers, and also keep the old guys retaining, getting them ready for next year as well. You know, the, my biggest thing is as we as we reset and and the nature of college basketball is you know transfer portal hits and guys guys leave and um, you try and keep as much of your core together and then build from there is is to build continue to build and emphasize culture and you know we've always had a healthy culture here it's about competitive you know a healthy competitive environment that promotes improvement daily improvement one percent better and you know we need guys that fit that culture not just not just players but coaches and and managers and administrators and have everyone on board ten toes in on what our culture is about and so you know, my biggest emphasis this off season is going to be to continue to build that culture, uh, to continue to to cultivate it, and and make sure that that is what you know is emphasized. Because in in the end, I I think you win a few games with X's and O's, you win a lot of games with culture and, and character. And, and, and G, like, since see how much you improved from last year to this year, you know, which is so great. Like like last year after the quarterfinals again last year, but you was you all you could have won that game too, it's going to Kansas State, but you all were just you was beat up. And this year, man, you be a little younger team, and you just seen the improvement from last year this year, man. Had to make you happy knowing that, it, that, that what your vision for this program is, knowing that what you're trying to set for culture-wise, actually working and taking the route. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see, you know, as we progress through Division One, we have – we're getting the bigger-sized players. Uh, bigger's not always better. Uh, but, but in basketball, it really helps not wear you down. Um, you could see that our roster was way more healthy at the end of the year – because we had we had larger human beings um, as we progress through this, and every year we need to continue to have our roster advance. Um, it's not that they're better players, uh, but we've got to be able to build a team that is capable of not just competing well in the sun, but but thriving. And that's what our roster needs to look like. And everything we're going to do is going to be to have that culture, um, but but to but to be able to win and and thrive in the sun. And G for you is look back on this year, man. I know it's a little early, but what, what was kind of your highlight of the of the year for, for yourself and in the team, man, that it really stands out to you? Yeah, I think this year we built our non conference schedule a lot different. Um, the first year in Division One, uh, we we kind of announced so late that that we had to kind of take what games we could get, uh, and we were really trying to prove that we belonged in Division One. Well, this year we we scheduled a lot different, a lot more difficult and a lot different. So you know the highlights is obviously going to Duke. Going to Clemson, uh, playing playing the winner of the A10 in, at Richmond, uh, but but also the Big South champions, the Sun Belt champions. So we played the best of the leagues around here: ACC, A10, Big South, Sun Belt. We played the champions of those leagues, and uh, it's something I really believe in: non-conference scheduling, preparing you for league, and uh, I look forward to doing that again next year while being ready to, to to compete and win for an ASUN title. 100%, G. You know, the spring workout start, man, for you guys, uh, like, is this going to be more so trying to work on things from this year or trying to answer a game now? I know it's kind of difficult to do with, with the time you have in the summertime as well. So how are you going to kind of approach the guys who are returning their workouts coming up here real soon? Yeah, man, we're going to try and add stuff to each guy's bag. You know, you brought up Bryce Cash before, and and we're really going to try and help have him be more of a primary ball handler and, bring the ball up more often and get more into Barkley drives where he gets cut off and he can flip his hips and, and keep backing a guy down while playmaking. Uh, we're going to work on his finishes around the rim. Uh, each guy will be different. We're going to, we're going to make each package for each guy, big Malcolm. Uh, we're really going to work on him being more aggressive, getting off the floor faster, turning his shoulders more aggressively so that it's not passive. And it's really like he's taking it to a guy. Um, I think will be a huge advantage for him. Chris Ashby, who hit 90, 94 threes at 40%, like we need to figure out how to get more. And uh, he's got to be a little bit more dynamic with the ball in his hand so we can get it off more shots. And so each guy, we're going to we're gonna individualize their plan and, and really trying to add things to their game so that they can increase their usage or be more efficient. 100%. Just a great move, man. Last one I got for you, brother. Uh, how you liking your Packers offseason so far, man? Uh, the moves got you, got you excited a little bit, man. It has I think I think the biggest move is is signing the safety they got, uh, which which is going to help them roam and be more aggressive defensively, be able to attack more. Uh, but then obviously Josh Jacobs is a big deal. 
Um, sad to see a couple of famous Packers go. Bakhtiari, who was a, who was a phenomenal offensive lineman, and Aaron Jones, the Packers for life, and we appreciate them. And it's just like the same players that leave Queens, man. We appreciate what they've done for us. Uh, but sometimes they're moving on to better pastures or, or, or you know, the roster needs to take shape in a different way. And so uh, all, all the new Packers, we're really excited to see them. And you know what, G, I, I'm, I may be a little bit biased here, but I think as of right now, Jay Love might be the best quarterback in the NFC North right now. Ooh, I like it. No, I think for sure, for sure, the Bears are going to have a rookie again. You know, how about the Packers haven't had a rookie quarterback start a game since 1987? How about that? Okay, and that's wow. a big that's a big deal, uh, and that's kind of like not having a rookie uh, a point guard. Um, but you know, the the Vikings are going to have a new quarterback because Kirk Cousins is leaving, and and obviously Detroit's been very stable. Uh, so we'll see. But I do think. You know, Jordan Love is is those last six, eight games, he was phenomenal. So future is bright in Green Bay, uh, even if there's not a lot of sun. No doubt, man. Hey, I think you're in the good hands with Jay Love. And I think like I feel bad for Fields to a degree because he had to sit behind sit like Jay, Jay Love did. He would be way farther along than he is now. So there is a method to the matter of Green Bay doing something with Favre, Rogers, and J Lo now. So I feel like Green Bay has something going up there for us. Quarterbacks are getting ready to play the right way when it's time for them to play. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've had people talk about that, like, hey, how come every team doesn't do that? Well, not every team has the luxury of being able to sit out a quarterback multiple years before they play. But, that you know, the stability of the Packers organization and roster has, has been very fortunate. So now you're talking about almost 25 years since they've had a rookie quarterback play. And, and that's that's a huge deal. It's part of the reason why the Packers have been such so stable as a franchise is, they're able to make shrewd roster moves that are long term. No doubt, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do. And just funny, everybody knows G. I'm no Falcons fan at all. So I don't care that Kirk cuts that. They can win, we'll lose, or whatever. I could kill us about the Little Falcons. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk Magic coming to town. Uh, so we'll see how he does in, in the ATL. And obviously, you know, me being in Charlotte so long, I, I'm a Panther fan. I get to go see a bunch of games each year. And I'm hoping that they, they can they can build a little better roster this year and be a little more competitive because it was, it was rough these last two years, man. You know what? I I, I think it's, I just don't know G if I could give a guy on one Achilles 180, the hundred guarantee, not knowing what he can do. That's, I agree. that's something I might not would have done. I would may have just, Hey, look, let me go with Justin Fields or anybody, but not a guy that I don't know. I, I'm giving, I'm giving you money off hope. Not because I really know. Yeah, yeah, and you never know how guys, especially that old, is going to recover from Achilles, man. You just never know. Yeah, man, so I'm looking forward to see how it goes, man. But, gee, well, look at man. It's been fun to do this show with you this year, man. We got to do it again next year as well, man. It was fun as hell, man. Good to see you in Tennessee as well, man. If I see you before that, of course, now. So we'll keep you going, my brother. No, I was always in your corner, my guy. Appreciate you, JR. You're the best, man. We'll cross paths here soon. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you soon, brother. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online. When the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. 
You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the king out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.